going on YouTube thank you for tuning in to another episode of Kev Scooter Motor Vlogs this is my first run with the Hawk, uh, the Ice Bear Hawkeye 150cc after I've uh, fixed it oh yeah a lot of power man it feels good to be finally riding a brand new scooter that's actually running right So, real quick guys, for anybody that's not been on the scooter page on Facebook, real quick, if you want to find the scooter page on Facebook, just t uh, log in the same title as my YouTube channel, which is Kev Scooter Motor Vlogs. So anyhow, like I said on the scooter page, she's up and running correctly now, back to normal. So, the problem with the scooter was, during shipping, it was tipped over, it was tipped over on its front side. Because uh, when I got this here uh, shipment in, the front of the box was all oil. It had a whole bunch of oil. So basically, uh, I did a nose dive. And it, how long did it stay that way? Enough to enough for the oil to come out and uh, go all up in the air box. So that's why whenever I put it together and I went off for a ride, I wasn't able to go over 30 miles an hour. Roughly 25 to 30 miles per hour. Now I can give it full throttle. So I cleaned up all the oil in the uh, air box and uh, all up in the, the big old round tube that goes to the back of the carburetor. So being that I did ride it like that for a while, the carburetor had a whole bunch of oil in it as well. So I bought a new carburetor, cleaned out the oil and uh, the breather now to my valve head. There's like a breather, I'm not connecting that to the, uh, right to the air box no more. Just in case there's a little bit of extra oil, I just got it hanging down right now. Tomorrow, I bought this here called, it's an oil separator, oil catch. So basically, I want to put a filter on one side, and that hose is going to go into the other side. And so it's going to allow it to breathe, and it's going to catch the oil in this little container. But yeah, right now, it feels... Man, she's running strong. That's good. Look at that guys, 50 miles an hour. I could go faster if I wanted to, but I never put this I never uh, took this scooter over 30 miles an hour. And she's still in a break-in period, only with 77 uh, kilometers. She did 77 of those kilometers only doing 30. So I thought I'd bring her out for a nice little ride, open it up a little bit. Also, another thing, guys, I went ahead and uh, took out the synthetic oil. I found out that it's not too wise to break in the engine with synthetic oil. So I went ahead and went on Amazon and I bought this here scooter oil. It has a, it says for four stroke scooters. Just seeing how fast she can go. Man, she'd be jamming, guys. That's 55. Yeehaw, I'd be jamming. All right. That's enough open throttle for right now. Now let's just go ahead and cruise her. Man, I never had a damn uh, motorcycle. I had a, motorci a couple motorcycles before this. And these front brakes are really touchy. So I got to remind myself. Because I'm used to pulling down on both brakes at a pretty good amount. That's how Sally is. But with this one, if I was to barely, barely tap on this here brake. And see how it jerks. Whoa. I got to use the majority of the left hand brake, which is the back brake. Man, it feels so good to have the scooter running. It feels like I got my money's worth now, guys. 
at first I was like man I spent how much on this I waited how long for this scooter for it to not even run right I was a little disappointed but then uh, I started working with um, Q9 Power Sports, the company I bought this from, and they admitted, they're like, yeah, man, so basically what you're describing to us, the scooter must have been uh, tipped over during shipping. And if you clean out that air box, your scooter's gonna run just like it's supposed to. And uh, automatically, I just was thinking, yeah, that's a no-brainer. Well, I went through two carburetors. The third one finally worked. This is the third one that I got on there. First, The first carburetor was the one that came with. Then uh, they gave me a replacement, which I threw on there secondly, before I found out that there was a whole bunch of oil in the uh, air box. So that one got destroyed. Well, it got all dirty, not destroyed. I could always clean it with carburetor cleaner, but they're only 30 bucks, man. The two uh, carburetors that got all the oil in it is the two sealed ones anyhow. Not that I'm not too fond of those sealed carburetors. So this is the one that I can actually rejet, you know, get to the parts to rejet it if I wanted to. So I'm glad I saved the third carburetor for last, the best one. Ah, you know what guys? I don't got no damn license plate on me. <laughs> I left my damn license plate at home. I got to head back. I had bought a frame for my license plate from uh, Amazon, so I took off my license plate took it upstairs and forgot to put my license plate back on really smart I'm not even full throttle guys it says I'm going 55 miles an hour 50 and I'm just look at just barely a, man this thing's got a lot of power Let's see if I do full throttle. I got full throttle. Still climbing. 55. Well, it looks like I need to tune it in a little bit better. She uh, does 55 at half throttle and 55 at full throttle. Well, I'm happy. It should be doing 60, 65, I would think. At least 63. But I'm happy with it acting right, doing 55 right now. If I would have kept on it, maybe I would have hit 60. Yeah, this is so much uh, faster from the stop sign as you're picking up speed poor Sally takes a while for her to pick up speed but yeah she still has got my heart man I love my 50cc scooter matter of fact I'll probably just take her shopping right now I got to do a little shopping I like taking Sally shopping because she's got that little metal hook right here this is plastic and uh, if I was to try to put bags like I do on Sally right here it would break that so if I'm going to go shopping, load up the scooter with some bags, it's best that I take Sally anyhow. remember not to put uh, pull in this right brake the front brake like right now I wasn't thinking and then it just came to my mind so I'm so glad I didn't pull it like I would on Sally I have a feeling it's going to put me over the handlebars if I did 
it really has a quite of a grab to it man it feels good that none of these cars are actually leaving me in the dust no more I'm actually riding on the rear end the camera was not at I hope the camera wasn't pointing all the way down to just right here right now right now I sort of noticed that it was pointing more down towards the road than up hey when that happens when I'm doing a nice video I'm thinking and the camera angles all messed up all right let's make it back home without no copper getting behind me Yeah, I like the scooter, uh, the headlighting and the nighttime is a lot more, it eliminates my path a lot more than on Sally. I don't know what it is, but the, the setup of these lights, they're a lot lower towards the road, I think. And brighter. So there's a low beam, high beam. Yeah, I went ahead and uh, only put the oil up halfway. I didn't fill it all the way up just in case if I overfilled it the first time. But I do believe that it was from the scooter being tipped over because when I did uh, get the shipment, the front box of the scooter was all soaked with oil. And then after I unwrapped the bubble wrap and everything, there was oil on the seat, all on the floorboard, which means it came out right here by the air box. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and pull this in and park it and I'll upload this tonight and you guys will see it shortly. Thank you guys for watching.